Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One, and we have a very special guest with us today. We do. I'm fresh out of the fresh out of the uh, shower here. Been staying at the Crazy Whoa. Town Compound for a whole day. It's fresh out of and, the shower. Yeah. yeah. Hold well, on. Put a, put some clothes on, Mister well. X. <laughs> You guys said it was time to start, so here I am, okay, Mister X, in in uh, full full. Uh, I was going to make here. a really improper joke, so I'm not going to do that. What were you going to make? Oh, like, running down the hallway this like isn't Diddy. the right place for it. No, running down the hallway like Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too soon. I yeah, think. too soon. That's funny, but too it's, soon. It's, it's is it too soon? It is not. I mean, <laughs> I mean, he deserves everything he gets. Amen. Let me yeah. say that. So, all right, what do you guys got for me? I hear that you have something for me today because I don't know anything. All right, so next. WNBA phenomenon. My favorite sport. Your yes. favorite sport. Honestly, Jonas, you, you say that, but the WNBA has honestly been more prevalent in sports news as of late because of the acquisition of the uh, the freshman team, the freshman squad. And that freshman squad comes with the highest scoring collegiate female foot basketball player. <laughs> foot, by, foot base. Yeah, it's a lot of adjectives. <laughs> Foot basket, <laughs> but and and that is Caitlin Clark. Okay. Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark, out of Iowa. Is that where she played? She, uh, yes. yep. I don't yep. know, but she made a lot of money on some uh, like Nike deals. She Sneaker made deal. a yep. lot on her Nike deal. Yes, she made a lot on it, and and rightfully so. Right, rightfully so. She is the highest scoring collegiate female basketball player in history. Much that to, is a milestone. Much to the chagrin of. Every other female basketball player, apparently, all of them, all they of them. all apparently they all don't appreciate it. it. Yeah. Okay, I, so I saw one thing. What would you see? She got pushed down in the game. So yeah, that's They're the thing. Her. That's the thing is that people have been saying is that she's been getting a lot of unnecessary fouls. One of them, the last foul, the one that you're talking about, got upgraded to a flagrant two, which is an immediate ejection. They say that she's been getting a lot of hard fouls. I will have to say, like. Per capita, you know, throughout the game, it's not like she's getting fouled every time she goes up to, up to court. You're going to get some fouls. You're in the NBA. Um, WNBA. Pat Mathkey says. Say that one. Pat Ma Mathkey. <laughs> is that right? McAfee. Pat McAfee. McAfee. Okay. McAfee. Like the virus program. That's right. <laughs> Pat McAfee says, the, he says that there's one white bitch. Wow. That is uh that is a problem in the WNBA. Why, why is there one a problem? Because she is a problem. She's a problem to... Okay, so you think about it. When you get a rookie on the team, what like, and especially if the rookie's considered to be the star of the team as soon as they get on the team, okay. there's going to be some resentment. Yep. Yeah. Yep. yep. So... Yeah. Oh, like there's some like... So there, there's, there's some obviously resentment. Some saltiness going on in, gotcha. in the WNBA. Well, I mean, like... But you know you're not good, right? And you know she is. <laughs> like if I was what on, a, that mean? like if I was on a team and like I was like a veteran, and I was like 30, and like this Listen. young 19 year old superstar came on, and he was the best player on the team by far. Well, I would know. Look, I'm not this as good happens as in the NBA all the time. It like, does. Like, thank you. Like Kevin Durant came out when he was like 19. LeBron, you know, LeBron came out when he was Wade, 19. Wade. That was the last and, year of and, the. Uh, and I couldn't tell you 18, if. 19. I couldn't tell you if they disrespected those guys or not. I'm sure they got some hate when they when they first joined. But well, yeah. everybody wants this to go a little is, harder, like the fresh new blood that's yeah, supposed to be the, the next on the big rookies. Thing, so. Yeah, but I think you know I've seen a few clips of Caitlin Clark, and 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 I'll be honest, I don't watch enough WNBA to know if that was normal. Play? Did you sell your season tickets or oh, what? I, I did, I did, <laughs> I did. Some lady in a Subaru asked for them. That's all I'm going to say. But anyways, they. Uh, my point is, I don't know if that was normal play or not. I mean, you, anything can be sensationalized with a clip. So, yeah. yeah, she got knocked down. Did people get knocked down a lot? I, I can't, couldn't tell you. I, I no actually idea. have been to a WNBA game. It was a long, long time ago. Honestly, so, you're, you're Cleveland used to have a team. Yeah, they did. I went honestly, to the, the Liberty. You're honestly you're the expert now because you the been, I, went, I went to the Houston right. a Houston Comets game back in the mid 2000s. Who was their yeah. superstar? I. Don't Nobody know, man. Know. It was like middle of a Saturday Look, afternoon, and like, the only name we all know is Cheryl Swoops. I, I think yeah. she might have been know, on the uh, only Lobos. name we I think know. she might have been on oh, the comments no, too. Uh, Lobos, she was the next Lisa big Lobo. Yeah, yeah. she was, yeah. The, she was the next big yeah. thing before. I remember uh, that Brittany Griner. Oh yeah, we oh, know her because yeah. she got dumb name. in Russia. We know those yeah, names? She did dumb stuff. We traded an arms dealer for her. The guy from Lord of War. 
Good like, we I mean, made a movie about his arms deals. Yeah, it's because we're in a Cold War with Russia, but we're not talking about the Cold War with no, Russia. No. <laughs> we're talking about the WNBA. And, I, like, I like the segue, and, though. And, and clearly, the, the, clearly WNBA feel, players are work okay. us trading off uh, weapons. We, we, um, we're gonna, so, we don't want to hit on Brittany Griner. We're talking about Caitlin Clark. Okay. This is her moment. So We're not going to take say, it from her. It's happening to her again right now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bringing up black people who are talking about the white bitch, Jonas. <laughs> I, I feel like. Oh, here it comes. I don't even know what to do with it. I this. feel uh -huh. Uh -huh. that uh, if you're a sports journalist, yeah. you should never refer to anyone as that bitch. Okay, so I'm going to shoot him some bail. I'm going to shoot him some bail. You're All right. Pat McAfee? Yeah, I'm going to shoot him some bail. I'm okay. going to I'm going to issue his bail. I'm going to go to his bail bondsman. Okay. I'm going to put the $500 on 10% down on the table. I'm going to shoot him some bail. He did call her a white bitch, but he only said it because the M the WNBA is primarily black and it should, and, you know, whatever. It should. Wait, I don't know where I don't know where <laughs> I was going with that. Say? I didn't I didn't finish the sentence. I didn't finish the word. <laughs> okay. No period no period yet. We're yeah, waiting. Yeah, I didn't finish the word so it doesn't count. <laughs> Um, but it is, and the problem is, is that she is the next coming. She's the she's the next big star. She's the Kobe. She is the one that has elevated WNBA to the point where we are talking about it right now. Right. Where Pat Maffey is talking about it. I said his name wrong again. <laughs> we're we're like ESPN is He's actually about showing the WNBA, yeah. exactly. She got a big shoe deal. This is the chance that the WNBA has to be brought into the mainstream. And it has been to a certain extent. People are actually paying attention oh, yeah. to and, these players. And the now. women players are getting better overall. Like it just takes well, time. Yeah. Like and, and, it, it, and now look, and there's another stat there that I actually saw this stat the other day. They were talking about average attendance of, of WA, WNBA mm -hmm. games, like mm -hmm. last couple of weeks or whatever. And everyone that had Caitlin Clark playing in it mm -hmm. had double the attendance of, of all, all of the other games. ones. That yeah. makes sense. And it was just yeah. like, yeah, so she has she, star power. She is a star power yeah. for a league that Good. has not had that much doesn't star, have a star power. power. Yeah. So it's like, I could understand you having some resentment when you've been working your job yep. for 10, 15 years and then some young 20 year old 19 year old comes on the court and then they think that, oh my God, everybody's coming to see that person. Like I've been here for forever doing the exact same thing. I've been making these plays. I've been working hard. I mean, I, I said There's this once. I'll, I'll say that, it again. You should know you're not as good and don't have the star power. Like, well, I mean, knowing I don't it, even, but it, dealing with it is different. You're right. It's not even about being as good. It's it is about the star power, right? It's it because is. look, it, and it's the it's the same argument. Like you well, know, with, with the people in the WA, the NBA claim and claim or complaining about not flying private right and they're like mm. and it's because people are like mm. well that's because you guys don't have the budget right yeah. and, and it's all about budget this whole thing's about budget and if you can put butts in seats that's that makes you something special yeah. and caitlin clark is clearly putting butts in seats yeah, at that's wnba what games and they, that's what it is they should honestly be happy that someone is helping them bring in more revenue because it ultimately will help them get paid more money all you would them. think that's 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 it, what you would think. It is hard for a NBA player because obviously we're talking about uh, professional athletes. They're wired a little bit differently than you or I. All right. Whether you want to say they're not as intelligent, whether you want to say they're more emotional, whether you want to say they're more focused on one thing, right. they're wired a little bit different than we are. So they have a certain degree of ego when they get on the court and you have to to play at a at a uh at a uh, professional level you have to have that ego so but with that ego also comes that jealousy of the new person who was obviously the star the biggest issue i have is that your teammates need to be protected you see drayvon green out here willing to see one of his teammates get a hard file and he will get ejected from the game ron artest through punches into the crowd you know, i'm sorry meta world peace so we have, we have instances where a teammate will fight for other teammates. I don't understand why her team isn't necessarily fighting for her. I don't know if it's her team. I think it's the other teams, right? I, but I don't think her team's necessarily too strong. If she gets a great. hard foul, if she gets a hard foul, somebody needs to be the, the goon needs throwing to elbows. Up we need, somebody we need needs to be okay. the goon, yeah. take the hard foul so that the scorer can stay on the on the on on the court and continue to win the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. I agree no, with that. no, absolutely. So um, where does this fall into? Is this a female thing? No, because I think it I don't want to be the misogynist. Because I think it happens in the NBA too. It does, it, but I think it gets more. Pro See, here, here's the problem though. It, in the NBA, 
in any given year, you can have a influx of many new stars. Yeah. And so, like, it may happen, but, like, it, there's a this lot is of hard kind, fouls. This is kind of the NBA's first new star. Yeah. Like, WNBA. WNBA. Yeah, it's like, yeah. it's like, um, it'd be like, it's like, okay, it's like Jackie Robinson, the first black baseball player ever. God damn it. I was going to say Caitlin Clark was like the <laughs> Jackie Robinson joke. Man, it was coming. It wasn't was a, it's it's not a it. joke. but It like, is a joke. <laughs> but he took a lot of unnecessary flack because he was the new star. Yeah, new. Cr- no, he was black. That's and, why I mean, he took <laughs> And, yeah, I mean the first black player. That's why Caitlin. Are you trying to say, oh, because she's yes! the, oh, the first white? Uh, oh, is it a race thing? They don't like her because she's white. If she was a black, player, it definitely fine. comes into play. All right. I, yeah, I agree. It probably does come. It's kind of like the Eminem because, factor. Everybody keeps well, saying Eminem the goat, and then he comes out with Houdini, and you're like, what the fuck is this shit? How is this? This is your king. <laughs> <laughs> this is the this is the captain of the mothership. This is the greatest oh. rapper of all time. Have you heard that I've, song? Was bad. That song's not good. He tried to remake a song he made in a minute, yeah, and it was yeah. about a minute time nah, song. So that's your goat. Mm. Uh, that ain't mm. my goat. But no, but Caitlin Clark is the goat. Caitlin Clark's the goat. I don't I know if she's the goat, but she's damn good. But she's the greatest she's of the, all collegiate time. She yeah, well yeah, in, in college she's Which a college goat nothing. for sure. But I think she I think she certainly she elevated it to a different level. And and honestly, as the father of a daughter, yeah, and some of the Aww, some of the sweet. stuff I see coming out of some of these players like. You know L- the folks that were playing for LSU this year, or in the you know watching. I actually watched several c- women's college games this year just because it was interesting. Yeah, but you know, and like the the trash talking and kind of just acting like I'm not going to say any. I won't say any words without sounding like an ass. But point is, they weren't they weren't acting like they weren't acting like like good. I would say role models. Caitlin Clark, on the other hand, seemed to be pretty role model. Like she's kind of just taking taking her shots, doing her thing, kicking people's ass. By the way, hundred percent speculation. What do you think that the female persona does it have any weight on the treatment that she's getting? The female persona. Oh, what do you mean? like just the the stereotype that the stereotype that women that... tend to be more catty or like whatever about like, well, that's, other women. That's why it's getting media coverage. And that's that's the that mm. that's the subtext. Mm. That is one because they love the cattiness. They like love the drama. Hundred percent. Okay. That's why ESPN's covering this because like, ooh, people will watch this, okay. and they love to people see love this drama, man. Like, like people don't care about NBA drama. Like it's like oh, okay, no, it's like two it's, two gods. Fight. It's two dudes like mouthing at each other. No one cares. It happens all the time. That's very true. But this is like oh, we can watch these girls be catty with each other. So it's that the is spin. Yeah, that like that, that's why we're even hearing about it. That's why I say I don't watch the NBA enough, WNBA enough to know if this is normal or not. You know, that's like this may be just normal play for them, except now we're just getting fed it for the first time wow. ever. Maybe they play dirty all the time. Yeah, maybe they play dirty all the time. Maybe they're bitchy all the time. But I this don't is the know. first time that we're paying attention. This is the first time we've ever been told if you about got a it. C-tier because... player and they're getting abused, nobody says anything. Yeah, well, you get, you've got, you've got America's sweetheart, Caitlin Clark, and they're like, oh, this will be this is great. No, but America's I'm sweetheart you know, is she, crazy. That's kind of what she <laughs> has become, right? She's like this, she has become she's America's this nice Taylor white Swift. girl that that plays basketball and was really, crazy. really good in college. Really good, and so the like, best to ever do it. Some would say. I grew up on a farm and I used to feed the yeah, pigs. Yeah, fucking Iowa, practice. by the way. She yeah. played for Iowa. You know, oh, I mean, it, that's, hey, look, I'm gonna look. This is TNT Dynamite, Caitlin Clark. You gotta take your lumps. I'm sorry, you gotta do it. Everybody's gotta go through it. You gotta go through yours. It's Prove like yourself. I mean, everybody gets hazed. Well, she's not complaining about it. No, she's not. She's not. not and I, no, I haven't heard it. All I've seen is she didn't that, even complain about the white bitch comment. Yeah, she, she actually, what I heard is she like, I heard something like she challenged Pat McAfee to a basketball game, and then they played. I saw something about that she she's that suing yet. him. Oh, well, maybe she did comment because they it. played a game, and he she beat the shit out of him. She and would. now they don't want to pl- they don't want to put it on the show. And she's like, though the contract said you'd put it on the show. She beat him like it was like make it take it. She beat him twenty one to five, really, or something like that. Yeah, okay. I saw that somewhere, but I okay. you know, don't I don't I want to tell you find where. that out. So all right. anywho, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to go to thecruisetown.com and subscribe for uh, Jonas TNT and Mister X. Uh, we out. Uh,